Snapshot here. Welcome back to DCS, brought to you by Republic of Texas. And if you notice today, I'm not in the F-16. Well, I'm in the F-15E Strike Eagle. And uh, one of the things that uh, we're going to be doing a series on this, and one of the first things I wanted to take and uh, uh, try and show a little bit uh, was one thing a lot of people in our group's been having trouble with is the autopilot and the uh, terrain following radar. So uh, we have we have our waypoint one up ahead of us at 62.6 miles, and uh, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do some uh, terrain following and try and stay as low as we can through the mountains. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to come down here, make sure our radar is turned on, which it is, and we're going to flip our nav clear to on. Yep, got to be out of pause. Then we're also going to uh, flip on terrain falling radar. And a radar altimeter should be on. Okay. So the other, only other switch we're going to be using is the uh, terrain following uh, couple switch. And one of the things that we need bound is the paddle switch. So the way we're going to be doing this now is we're headed to steer point 1A. So we want to go to nav and we're you can see our terrain following cue is coming up. That's our manual steer cue, that little box in the HUD. That's where we need to steer our little flight path indicator into it to avoid the terrain. That's in the manual mode, but we're not going to go to manual mode. We're going to go to the automatic mode. So we're going to couple our terrain following radar. So now it's going to fly up for us. And if you notice it's saying airspeed, well the thing, thing with the uh, terrain following radar is you have to have your airspeed above 400 knots and we're at 390 so it's going to come up to, there we go there we go there's the airspeed coming off so we want to go to autopilot and we can we want to go to steer mode so now it's going to steer us onto our waypoint one using train following radar another thing we want to bring up is we want to bring up our train following e-scope so now we're set at uh, 500 feet. We want to go down to 300 feet. So no matter what, we're gonna we gotta watch our speed here. We wanna we wanna fly at uh, 300 feet, and it's gonna it's gonna stay. It's gonna keep us on the crosshairs the whole time following this terrain. And it's gonna keep us on the steer point. It's the only thing that's the only thing we have to do. I mean. We don't, we don't have to have uh, the altimeter set because one of the things that you notice is up here in our boxed altimeter, uh, when we get below 1,500 feet, we'll have a radar altimeter uh, wire come up here and shows us, as long as we're below 1,500 feet, that, uh, that will show us uh, what our altitude is over here on, in, in a wire. And there it is. So right now we're at... Uh, 300 feet so we're gonna we're gonna keep following that around now if what if we want to go to a hundred feet uh, which is pretty much the lowest that we can go we'll come down here and hit our very low uh, I forget what the C stands for but uh, it'll bring up the 100 so we can actually click on a hundred and it'll keep us at a hundred feet off the terrain deck but it's gonna give us a flight path to follow the uh, mountaintops that's what this is right here now, if we really want to go on a roller coaster ride, we can go from norm, or uh, uh, it'll take us off the 100 and go to 200, and we'll go for a roller coaster ride. Uh, what this does is uh, it, it'll automatically uh, follow tighter to the terrain, and we lost airspeed again, so we're unarmed. Now, what happens if uh, that paddle switch is, uh, you can go from no, automatic to manual. So we're not liking this too much because it's it's kind of it's kind of tricky to stay on. Uh, we're going to be in, in train falling mode, and ECCM is a uh, uh, it's a counter countermeasure. Uh, like if uh, if the enemy is going to be trying to shoot radar at us, jamming up our uh, our our 
our uh, train falling radar, uh, what that does is it automatically compensates for that uh, that radar warfare. So. Low altitude. Low altitude. We're gonna try and stay at about 200 feet, in which well we're roughly about you know right there somewhere. Another thing is uh, one of the things that we low have to altitude. turn low off is altitude. our laws. Uh, we want to make sure we get that down below it. We want it 90% of what our altitude is, so we'll set it at 180 feet. So we'll just type in 180 and put it on our laws. That way it's, we're not getting a low altitude warning all the time. And that's all we got to do is just sit back and relax and let the airplane fly. So I'm completely hands off right now. Let, letting the airplane fly the terrain.